It's uh, and you know it's a, it's your Vanchi school. It's not like your FICO school. Uh, a Vanchi. Now, your Vanchi school would be like, um, probably an eighty to a hundred point lower than like if you went to get a loan from banks. They they use FICO scale scores. Fair eyes credit age, you know. So that's like your true score, but you want to go by this one just to see where you looking. You know, just get ideas, some negative reporting on there. So, so uh, this would be this would be how you do I wouldn't pay my student loans off by now. Uh click on Equifax. Let me see. She was trying. Yeah, she was trying. Cause I ain't put it, I ain't put it on that card. They said no changes right now. Go to my overview. Click on TransUnion again. Trans. Oh. Hey, Latanya, Kearney, Alexander. It should have on there your credit, so we can see. Go click on the accounts. Oh, Charlotte. So. All right, so this is your credit age. This is because I added you as an authorized user on my account. So this is your total accounts. You don't have any inquiries on your credit report. That means... It's good enough. Yeah. How many people checked it? Yeah. And you don't have any negatives, no collections. Okay. So, hello, Tammy. Um... Uh, no collection. I think I'll be listening to you. Yeah. yeah Let's look right. at your payment history. I see you listen. I ought to put you on camera, but I want. No, I'm not hurting. I want to do. You know how I'm doing? I'm doing something in my head. Payment history. Uh. Oh. So. Zero late payments. So that's from me adding you. So, get credit card. Use. All right, so it's showing like $9,000 out of $59,000. I don't understand that because I didn't put you. I, uh, on that. I know I ain't on that $9,000. Oh, that's mine, which they got to update. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know who. Jay, I don't know who this is, card service. I asked you for Bank of America. So this is the balance I'm showing on that Wells Fargo card. This yours too. Never failed. Never failed. I add you to that one. That's a twenty five thousand dollar credit limit. It's only twenty three dollars on there. I add you to my city card, and so this zero on a forty nine hundred dollar credit limit. I need to see what this what is. What percentage mean? This that's how much of your like it's a six thousand dollar credit limit. But four thousand five hundred seventy two dollars is used. You doing my student loan? Nah, I think this is one of my. Nah, you are author say say authorized use. So, mm -hmm. but I need to see what they call. I think it's my Citibank card I got you on. Uh, but all of this means so you inherited my the good payment history I got. So when I pay that balance down to get it thirty percent. Then, oh, so that percentage means right. how much you use it? Yeah, okay. which I got to see what that card is. So, um, all right, let's draw on this card. Yes. Yeah, Bank of America. I've already paid that balance down, just got an update. So, it's going to be at 0%. You don't lie? Yeah. Oh, never mind. I'll just show your T-shirt. I want to show your face since you say your hair not looking good. I mean, I'm watching this other day. It's the plus the bag. Yeah. So, then you go to derogatory marks. You don't have any collections. Um, no public record. That's like a bankruptcy. So, like, uh, I was going to say, so collections, like, if I want to get an apartment or something like that, they'll have to check my credit or something like that? No, nah, that'll be a, oh, a that's hard. Oh, inquiry. Right, that's inquiry. That'll be a pull. Or if you go shopping somewhere, hold up. Cut this light off. So you want. Or if you go shopping somewhere, like you at Belks, 
or Best Buy and they say, hey, you try to apply for one of our cars today, that'll be a hard like gr- pull. Like grandma. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, credit age. That's where. A year and one year and 11 months. Right, because I add you to my account. So it's showing you I already got credit history. So, like, if you want to right now go and buy, like, a house um, and put it on your credit, or you had, like, when I came out of college, I had a $5,000 credit card, and I purchased a house with it, and then we fixed it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, that house in Chris Spring. Yeah. And then I sold it, and I got, like, well, I got almost $50,000 back. So if you want to apply for a credit card to use that way, when we find a house, then you can do it because your credit score. And time your your credit score. So these are my accounts. You don't have anything. So anytime your credit score is your true FICO score, not the Vantage, is 750 or above. So you at 734 on both of them. Then that's um, that's when you can. I mean, 720 is is great too. Like, if you want to go out right now and just get your own car, you probably get a 1.9% interest rate. Or, um, the interest rate to or buy your own house. Yeah, the lower the interest rate, the better. So, that's it. Let's look on the recommendations. So, the longer I have these accounts. So, this ain't going to do nothing? What? Credit card? Mm-mm, it's free. Oh. Uh-uh, no. That's what you got something that's called a hard pull and a soft pull. So this, it pulls on your credit report, but it won't show as an inquiry. It's called a soft pull. A hard pull is when somebody pull it, and it shows as a credit inquiry. Anytime somebody pull your credit report, um, it's going to lower your score maybe two to five points. But then if you have six or more pulls in, like, six months, then you will get denied for credit. So it's very important to use who pull your, your credit report strategically. So these are showing you with your credit score, the cards that you will get high approval for. Like American Express, rewards. That means every time you use this card for certain rewards rates, you can get um, 1.5% cash back. Like, if you buy gas, they'll give you 1.5% on the purchase if that's under that rewards category. Or sometimes someone come with travel points. So you're using the credit card, you pay it out full every month. Then when you get ready to travel, you have enough. Right, or you can, I'm going to do it for free right. if you got, you know, using enough. So that's why when you use credit cards the right way, it's better than using a debit card. So you got things like all these cashback. Uh, no annual fee. Some people have to pay to have a credit card if they have a low credit score. These, you know, like your approval hours and stuff like that. So, that's it. So, that's good? It's yeah. Like yeah. Okay. And you get a welcome bonus, which means C detail. Right, $150. So, like, you'll get 0% interest for 15 months with this card. $150 cash bonus, but you have to spend $500 on purchases within the first three months. So I shouldn't get no credit card unless I just really need it. Are you going to use, you going to use it for a strategy? Like you say, uh, mom, I want to go to a trip next year. So you get a credit card with travel rewards and then that might pay for your flight, the hotel, yeah, everything. Save my money to pay. And you pay it off in full every month. So what's in full? How much they, the much amount you can pay every month? No, like if you put five hundred dollars on the card instead of using your your bank debit card, then be able to pay that five hundred dollars off at the end of the month. That way you won't get charged any interest. The money you be using is free, and you get the rewards points to go with them. So you keep that five hundred dollars in the bank. Instead of using your debit card, which you don't get any rewards oh, for. Oh, so it's right. not like you ain't had them, but it's like you using this to get right. points, but mm-hmm. you can still pay it off. Right, anyway. right. Okay. So that's a like, smart way to use credit. Um, and so if you want to apply for this and you tell me you want to travel somewhere, then we'll, but these are cash back rewards. We'll look for something 
with travel reward, but you you got to use them responsible. You can't be late paying. A late payment will just knock down your credit score um, almost 100 points. Yeah, you can set it up an auto, auto payment. I prefer to do it that way. You can set up a card where you at least pay the minimum on auto payment coming out your account just so you won't forget to pay it. But I prefer if you paid them in full. So you only use the amount of credit that, you know, if you're going to use this strategy, you could pay in full. And that's it. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to log on to Experian. So I got you chest down to the wave. Hey, I'm not showing your face because you saying you don't want people to see your face. So I look bad. I just came from the gym. <laughs> oh, you going to get on I camera anyway? Put your hair and stuff. So this is your credit score. Yep, this is her credit score is right now. Tell everybody how old you are. 20. No, well, you'll be 20 <laughs> next Friday, right? I got to get used to seeing it. Yeah, you'll be, she'll be 20 next Friday. So I want you by 25 to use your credit to get some. Uh, house. So when I graduate, mm -hmm. I'm graduate. I want to be in my own house. Yeah, that'll be more cost efficient. So, 